Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about Bernoulli distribution. So, this is our first distribution class. You know, previous classes, we already discussed about uh, what's probability distribution, what's uh, probability random variable means, uh, and what is expected value, what is variance, and all those things were covered in our previous classes. Please watch those classes and come back here. We use all the concepts uh, in this class. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, Bernoulli distribution is very, very easy to understand, but this this Bernoulli distribution is used in our coming classes in binomial and Poisson distribution. Everything is linked to one by one. So please understand it properly so that it helps you a lot in our coming classes. Coming to today's class, Bernoulli distribution. A Bernoulli distribution is a discrete probability distribution. It is a discrete probability distribution which has only two possible outcomes those outcomes one we call it as success and the second one we call it as failure success is given a variable value one and failure is given a value of zero if you are having only two possible outcomes then we call it as bernoulli distribution with example you will get clarity let's take an example toss a coin we are having only two possible outcomes head tail head is considered as success is it compulsory to consider head as a success? No. In our experiment, we are considering it as a head as success. Tail is a tail as a failure. This is this uh, this tossing a coin. You can postulate it into Bernoulli distribution. Similarly, one important point you have to understand from the definition. Important to understand is roll a dice. Yes, it is also a Bernoulli distribution. How, how it's happening like a Bernoulli distribution. Let's consider it as a 6 is considered a success. When you roll a dice, in our experiment, we are considering 6 as success. Remaining as failure. So we are having only two possible outcomes. When you roll a dice, it may be success, it may be failure. This also considered as a Bernoulli distribution. This is the point you have to understand. Now coming to our uh, probability distribution. So, so for the same Bernoulli, dist uh, Bernoulli probability distribution, we are showing the probability tables, distribution tables, so that you will have better understanding of uh, Bernoulli distribution. Tossing a coin, what's our random variable x is? Either 0 or 1. 0 means failure. 1 means success. So what is the probability f of x? Probability of x is, uh, this is what probability distribution table means. This we already discussed in our previous classes. Probability distribution table for Bernoulli distribution is like this. For 0, tossing a coin, what is the probability? 1 by 2. For 1, what is the probability? 1 by 2. Similarly, our second, rolling a dice, success is considered as 6. Failure is considered as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, x is equal to, x means random variable x is 0 or 1. f of x is given as 0. How many possibilities are there? 5 possibilities. That's why 5 by 6. Success. How many possibilities? 1 possibilities. That is 1 by 6. 5 by 6 means on an average it is, a, it is not the exact value. 0.83 something will come. Approximately 0.83. 1 by 6 means 0.17 like this. So, how we graph it? Graph the uh, Bernoulli distribution that is also very important to understand uh, graphical intuition will have help you a lot in understanding the concepts uh, so if you plot the Bernoulli distribution for uh, rolling a dice success is equal to 6 failure is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so the probability distribution is like this so this we are plotting it on the x-axis we are taking a random variable 0 and 1 on the y-axis we are taking the probability values so 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so on what's the maximum probability value you are having 1 so what's on the y-axis what's the maximum value you will have 1 so 0 what is the probability 0 0.83 something that's why our distribution is like this 1 what is the probability value you are having 0.17 the, so that's why the graph is like this this is how we will we will graph the probability distribution discrete probability distribution okay now coming to that uh, probability of success means we consider it as success is considered as 1 in the same experiment in the same experiment uh, so what is the probability of success 1 by 6 is considered as a p if you consider 1 by 6 as p 
what is probability of failure remaining all we consider that as failure so it which is 1 minus p 1 by 6 is a, is our success 1 minus p means 5 by 6 is our failure because Bernoulli distribution having only two variables if it is not this other one so that's why probability of success 1 is given as a p probability of failure is given as 1 minus p now coming to the probability mass function so what is the probability mass function for Bernoulli distribution so don't get confused in our previous classes we clearly discussed this f of x which is giving the probability value that we for discrete probability distributions we call it as probability mass function means we are we are finding the f of x for Bernoulli distribution so probability mass function is equal to p power x multiplied by 1 minus p power 1 minus x that is equal to f of x means probability mass function which is we call it as f of x this is our Bernoulli distribution probability mass function why why it is probability mass function for Bernoulli distribution that is the point you have to understand if you substitute f of f of 0 means 0 in this will get 1 minus p if you substitute 1 1 in this equation will get p p power 0 means anything power 0 1 1 minus p power 1 minus 0 means 1 1 minus p so f of 0 if you substitute 0 in this equation we are getting 1 minus p if you substitute 1 in this equation we are getting p this is what our Bernoulli probability of success is p probability of failure is 1 minus p probability of failure is 0 so if you substitute 0 1 minus p if you substitute 1 p so this is the probability mass function for Bernoulli distribution if you know the probability mass function we can find the expected value we can find the variance value also how we find the expected value expected of x is equal to sigma all x x f of x so if you plot the Bernoulli distribution x 0 1 0 means failure we will get f of x value is 1 minus p 1 means p so x f of x means 0 multiplied by 1 minus p it's 0 plus 1 multiplied by p so expected of x is p so what is expected of x uh, already discussed what's that value means so p is the expected value of Bernoulli distribution similarly if you want to find the variance of the Bernoulli distribution expected of x square minus expected of x whole square this is what the equation for variance to find the to find the variance for discrete probability distributions the expected of x square means in this equation if you place x square f of x x square means 1 square multiplied by p 0 square multiplied by 1 minus p which is equal to p so expected of x square is p minus expected of x whole square is equal to p square that is p multiplied by 1 minus p we are not concentrating what is expected of x square and how to find the expected of x, x square because we made some examples in our previous classes how to find this variance and uh, expected value hoping that uh, that's why we are not concentrating on the substitution and e uh, finding the equation uh. so this is what the uh, p multiplied by 1 minus p is the variance of Bernoulli distribution hope you understand this Bernoulli distribution if you have any questions regarding the concept uh, please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you